Hello, my name is Fergal Lefou and I'm a partner in Funds and Investment Management at the Maples Group. I'm an Irish practicing lawyer based in the London office and I lead a team of five Irish qualified lawyers. And I'm Patricia Donovan, an associate in Funds and Investment Management based in our London office. In this series called Viewpoint Irish Desk London, we will provide you with high level updates on developments in the Irish legal and regulatory market. In this episode, we look at the upcoming filing deadline for SFDR Level 2 pre-contractual disclosures with the Central Bank of Ireland. By way of update, the Irish Desk in London is comprised of lawyers of a number of different practice areas, funds and investment management, asset finance and corporate. One of the benefits of having Irish qualified lawyers in London is to provide our London-based clients with face-to-face -face Irish legal services alongside our Cayman Islands, Jersey and British Virgin Island colleagues in addition to our complimentary fiduciary service offerings. Being on the ground enables us to provide best-in-class, in-person advice to London-based clients to service their multi-jurisdictional growing needs. We recently celebrated our five-year anniversary since extending our Irish legal service offering to London, and we continue to expand services to assist our clients with their Irish legal and regulatory needs. You'll be seeing more of me during this series, but for now, I'm handing over to Patricia Donovan, who will provide an update in respect of the upcoming filing deadline for SFDR Level 2 pre-contractual disclosures with the Central Bank of Ireland. As Fergal mentioned, we continue our series with an update on the upcoming deadline for the implementation of the SFDR Level 2 requirements. By way of background, in December 2019, the European Commission announced a European Green Deal, which sets out a roadmap for making the EU's economy sustainable and carbon neutral by 2050. As part of this roadmap, a series of legislative measures have been introduced to encourage private capital into the sustainable finance space. The first major milestone of these legislative measures was the coming into force of SFDR Level 1 on the 10th of March 2021, followed quickly by the taxonomy regulation on the 1st of January 2022. SFDR Level 1 seeks to harmonise the approach with respect to sustainable related disclosures to investors within the European Union. The taxonomy regulation provides a framework to classify sustainable economic activities and sets out the criteria and factors to be taken into account for a product or activity to be deemed environmentally sustainable. SFDR Level 2 will come into effect on the 1st of January 2023 and sets out the granular specification for the content, methodologies and presentation of certain disclosures outlined in SFDR Level 1 and the taxonomy regulation and provides additional requirements, including website disclosures and mandatory pre-contractual and periodic disclosure templates for Article 8 and Article 9 financial products, as well as providing clarification on the interpretation of certain aspects of SFDR Level 1. The deliverables for SFDR Level 2 can be broken down into four main areas. One, pre-contractual disclosure templates. Two, website disclosures. Three, template for the principal adverse impact statement and four, periodic disclosure templates. The Central Bank of Ireland recently published guidance on the streamlined filing process for complying with the pre-contractual disclosure requirement of SFDR Level 2. As part of the streamlined filing process, use its management companies, or AFIMS, will be required to certify compliance with the SFDR Level 2 requirements via an attestation. The attestation must confirm that the amendments are made in accordance with SFDR Level 2 and to ensure consistency with the disclosures including in the Annex, PAI disclosures and other SFDR related updates that arise due to clarifications from the European Commission, ESAs or the Central Bank and that no other changes are being made at this time. The Central Bank has set a deadline of the 1st of December for making filings via the streamlined filing process. The Central Bank has also clarified that where an SFDR related change of name is required the submission should be made via the central bank portal in the usual manner and the central bank will apply the streamlined process in such cases provided the submission includes the attestation. Furthermore, the central bank has clarified that if the SFDR related updates include a reclassification of the fund between Article 6, 8 and 9, the submission can be made via the streamlined process, but that a rationale for the reclassification must be included. The Central Bank has noted that although confirmation of receipt will issue following the submission, the Central Bank intends to undertake a sample review of submissions and will engage with selected applicants where queries arise in these submissions. This may result in revisions to the documentation being required at a later date. 
Our dedicated funds and investment management team can provide advice to firms who require further information or support with respect to implementing SFDR Level 2 or the wider SFDR and taxonomy guidance. Further information in respect of SFDR Level 2 requirements is also available via our SFDR Level 2 implementation webinar and Level 2 guide to the EU Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation, along with details of our other ESG solutions on our website. Thanks for that, Patrice. That concludes this episode of Viewpoint from the Irish Desk in London. We look forward to bringing you our next update from London in due course.